Hello everybody, I'm Rockman and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we faced off against Mumkar, and he ended up killing himself because he was filled with revenge, which isn't good. So let's go get our revenge. But first, well actually not first, we have to go to Galahad Fortress. So, let's go up this road path thing so we can get to it easier. And yeah, we have a bunch of stuff I want to do this episode, so I will try to go as fast as I can. At least that's the plan. Uh, so first, I want to go up here. And just run. There should be some enemies, yeah. M63s, we can just ignore them though, because they're not important. Uh, M82s. Once again, not important. Um, woodpeckers. Not important. Another stuff. Okay, that hurt. Uh, let's just keep ignoring these guys. I don't want to deal with them. I mostly want to be up here to get... Okay, not those guys. Actually, I don't want to kill anyone up here. Just need to get a landmark, mostly. That's the plan. Uh, come on. I know it's around here. I know it, because... I've searched before. Um, I think. Is this it? Nope. That's just a melon. Uh, it should be around here. I'm certain it's here. I'm not crazy. I know this. Is that it? Is this it right here? There we go. Port Maintenance Bay. Now that we got this. You can just head on over here. Ignore these other attack mechons. Go down this path. Right in front of us. We're doing a bit of a loop here. Because I want to get everything in this area to make it easier later on. Um, I don't want to go there. I want to jump down here. Get hurt a little bit. Not too much. Ignore this guy. Although, if I wanted to, I could do the cheaty stand up here and poke him around until he dies. But now, we're up here. Go down here and... Surprise quest! Secure the radio tower. I wonder what that means. Oh, look, we're at the radio tower. So down here, if we jump down, once again, get hurt. We have a bunch of attack units. Those aren't important. What is important is this guy right here, Lightning Renove. Now, I've tried beating him before. Like, I did a bunch of tests to make sure I knew I knew what I was doing. Uh, and I couldn't beat this guy. I beat him once out of like seven times I tried, so I'm not gonna bother with that. I'll come back for it later. Um, but for now, I think I'll just keep heading down this way. Because there's one place I want to get left here on this trip around. As you can see, we were over there. We could just walk here, but I want to do the round. I want to get everything, or most things. That quest I'll do later, as I said. It's really hard. Um, but yeah. Control tower. Now, if I can see where I need to go, yes, I think I can just hop down here. I can! Whoa! And from here... I can hop down again. And just cling to life, barely. Um, do I want to go anywhere else? No, okay. This is the right path. And we can ignore these guys. They'll probably hit us for once or twice. There we go. Twice. Come on, don't make me lie or hit me three times. Please. I only need to be hit twice. That sounds kind of dirty, but okay. Juicy melon. Well, we just want to keep heading down this path now. And... Don't know why I'm saying and. We're not even close to where I need to go. Or we are, but not as close as I should be. Okay. Here we go. This is where we need to go. Yeah. 
right around this corner, and Fortress Re Entrance. Here's our way in. There's no turning back. We can't let them find us. Let's move. Right. All right. Well, before we head into the fortress, I think I'll go to my Collectopedia and fill in everything for Sword Valley. That sounds like a pretty good plan. Good footing. Could be useful. Uh, HP steel. Sounds like some sort of leech seed thing. Auto heal up. I'm pretty sure that's useless. Uh, first attack plus. That could be good. And last but not least, heart seal resist. Nice. Well, that's all I want to do here on Sword of Valley, so let's head into the fortress. And Ether Influx Conduit. Now here... This place gets kind of weird. And by kind of weird, I mean not really. So first... Let's go through this door. in here somewhere. Let's get looking. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm ready for anything. I'll trash any mech on that tries to mess with us. Well, lift battle. Before I go forward, I'm going to change my party up just a little bit. Okay, I put Dunban in the lead and have Ryan and Ricky there as well. Uh, I just want to do this to change things up, and Dunban is actually really useful here. Now, this path... First fuel supply room. There's a bunch of mech on here. They won't attack you until you attack them. So... Keep that in mind. We have some other mech on here, but they're not useful to us. What is useful to us... Is up here... In this room. As you can see, come on, Sentinel Mech on. Let's fight him. Now, something really cool about Dunman. Oh, first off, new fight music. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. But cool about Dunban, if you use Heat Haze and then Tempest Kick, Soaring Tempest, pretty much get an instant chain attack. So. That's pretty fantastic. Really great for this area. Well, let's do this. He didn't get broken, so I don't know what I'm doing. I can't play games good. Uh, Ricky will... Let's heal Ryan up a bit. And that's it. Okay. Kinda lame. Now let's use Gale Slash. That. Now what do I do? I wanna... Nope, I took the wrong person's aggro. Okay. I'm an idiot. Now what am I doing? Ryan's dead. This sucks. This isn't going as planned. Uh, let's revive Ryan. Nope, I thought I clicked Gale Slash. This isn't going well. Hmm. I thought I had a good start too. Come on, let's take Ryan's aggro. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, I'm just pushing buttons. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy, then I'll just cut away with those guys, but this is the main guy you want to kill. There we go. Thank you, Ryan. Let's chain attack. Uh, let's try 
try Heat Haze. This is probably a bad idea, but... Let's War Swing. Fantastic. Rookie can heal me. Come on, now, okay. I was hoping for... Oh, a chain attack. Already, nice. Hopefully this can kill this guy. This is Storm Tempest. Chain attack already. Fantastic. I'll use Sword Drive and kill him. And now, I think I'll just cut away until I'm done killing these guys, so I will see you then. Okay, they're all dead now. So let's just collect this bounty of bounty. Yeah, Heat Haze plus Soaring Tempest, pretty amazing. Lots of chain attacks. Now let's just get this. I don't know why I didn't cut until after I got all these, but you get to see me collect all this treasure. Congratulations. And I think that's it. Oh, no, I was wrong. Now that's it. Now that that's done, I think I'll loop around this side. I think this is the way we didn't come from. Because... While not important, there's an area here, and Precious Retracho. He's there, so I'm not going to kill him. But if you want to, you can. Just so you know. But now that we have this lift key... We can go down here to this lift, and hopefully those guys won't notice us. Come on. And we can lift things now. Nice. Fantastic. Let's go down. Oh, there was the ether deposit there. Whatever. It's not like we have enough. Uh, we want to go down here, this path. And behold! The most useless locked door ever. Oh no, it's locked. What should I do? Push this button right next to it. I don't know why they did that. But they did. Anywho, let's go forward. Where are we? Looks like the control room for an ether blast furnace. There, look at that. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Shulk! What's that? Oh, looks like fun! Ricky want to ride? We didn't come here to mess about, Furball. Time to bounce on. Hold on. If we can stop that piston, we might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Nice idea. Cut off the Mechon's ether supply. Ricky, say we try! Yeah, but... How are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, it should work. And the turbines should be nearby. Right. Let's search for them. Well, if Ricky says we try, I guess we must. Got some more story quests and grind levels up. Fantastic. Now, as you can see on our little map, there's two points where we have to go. I'm going to go with the easier option first, because I'm a baby. As you can see there, we have two Hunter Unit Mechons. So, let's go forward and take down the second turbine. Which, funny enough, is easier than the first turbine to take down. Anywho, we just have two Mechon we have to kill. Since they're kind of required, I guess I'll show them. Now let's take down Ryan's aggro. I don't know why Dumban doesn't get so much aggro, because, like, I kind of gave him gems specifically to give him aggro. Maybe Ryan just uh, is so awesome, they just want to kill him instead, I don't know. A head shock. That will do bad things to Ryan. Uh, if we can get a chain attack, that'd be amazing. 
Too late. Anyways, let's help Ryan. And chain attack. I think this should be able to kill him. Oh, let's just boss Blossom Dance. Play. Hopefully I won't screw this up. There we go. Didn't kill him. This should do. Boom. Now that he's dead, or they're dead, we can push this button and that will turn that off. Lovely. Now we have to do the exact same thing on the other side, except it's slightly more difficult. And by slightly, I mean more than probably half difficult. If we go through here... Come on, lock on. Glacier Akon. A unique monster. And that's why it's slightly more difficult. But there's only one this time, so... Let's just kill him while listening to you will know our names. Uh, can I... No, I can't. Have to be in a chain attack to break him. This won't be as effective for getting chain attacks. Oh. Okay. Nice. We got a chain attack. Thought he was, like, resistant to chain attacks. Or not chain attacks, to topples, but whatever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, what should I do? Let's keep this going. Keep him toppled. Let's daze. Ricky will. What will Ricky do? Arrgh. Let's heal me, sure. Okay. That was okay, I guess. Let's do that. Worldly Slash. I think this can only use if I have an aura, which I don't. Well, that's... This is going easier than I expected. Come on, I got Buster. Nope, that didn't break him. Chain attack. Nice. Oh. What's he gonna do? Atomic low four. Not fun. Our time is now. What should I do? Oh, let's just use Blossom Dance. I'm not gonna risk trying to get a multiplier on it. Now what's Ryan gonna do? Ryan will just sword drive. And Ricky... He will heal Ryan. Oh, okay. Well, I could've used Blossom Dance here, but I guess I won't anymore. Uh... Well, let's use Soaring Tempest. Oh, this is going great. Be nice if there wasn't vehicles outside being super loud. Hopefully it won't pick up on my mic. Uh, okay. Let's do this. That was pretty fantastic. Hopefully we can kill him before this future happens. Let's do this. There we go. And he's dead. That was actually pretty easy, now that I think about it. Took a little bit of time, but... All in all, wowzers. Gave me a lot more trouble in my practice runs. Well, those are down now. Now we just have to go back and... Grab this splish... splash. Okay. Uh, now we go in here. Now we get to go around. We have a path this way, a path that way. Let's go here. Behold the ultimate tease. We can't go through that path, but we can go through this path. There's a blast furnace conduit. And... Enemies that are useless, I think. I don't think we need to kill them for anything. Who knows, maybe there'll be a future quest. If there is, I'm unaware of it. Uh, this place, you want to be careful, because if you fall into that green ether, you will die. Painfully. 
which isn't fun. So, I recommend avoiding that. Well, now that we are here, we can click this piston control unit. Nice one! We did it! This should prevent them from mobilizing any large Mekon squads for now. Hopefully, we've improved the Allied forces' chances. Hold steady, my brother. Flynn's here, here. It looks like the door's been unlocked. Nice. Let's get down to the blast furnace. If we're lucky. Fiora might be down there. Well then, now that the blast furnace is broken, we want to go... Well, down there, but first, I want to go here. Self-destruct device. It won't work. So, keep that in mind for later. Uh, I want to go back the way we came. So I think I'll just cut to there. Okay, back through that corridor. I didn't think you guys would want to see me run all the way back to this crossroad place. Because it's not really interesting. But we want to go the other direction now because it's opened. Ooh. Spooky and not really, but still. We want to go down here. I think there's enemies around here. Is there? Yes? No? There we go. Hunter unit, you're not important. Let's ignore you. And Ether Input System Stream. I, I don't know why I said system. It said stream or something. Wow. I feel dumb. Anyway, we want to go across here now. Because there's some goodies on the other side. We just want to walk all the way back up here. Back onto that first floor, I guess. Or second. I'm not sure which way that first elevator we took went. Uh, I think it went down, so this would be like the basement, I guess. Uh, some mechons. These guys are going to follow us. All the way over here. Yes, you are. You're not going to stop, so I will kill you and see you in a second. Okay. None of those nerds are out of the way. We can get this. Splish Splash. This locust spring and one safety device key. I wonder what that's for. Maybe for a self destruct switch that we just saw. So I will see you at that self destruct switch that we may or may not have just saw in. Yeah. Well, now that we have the safety device key thing, let's blow everything up. Boom! And with that, everything's destroyed, and by everything I mean like two turbines. Now these guys will never, ever be able to start this stuff up again. We didn't have to do that. This is optional, but anyway, you want to cross this pipe very carefully, because as mentioned earlier, if you slip and fall into that green ether, you will die. So, I will try not to slip. Knowing my luck, I will. Okay, good. Fantastic. Okay. Someone slipped and I have a vision. Yay, second Archcore Coil. That was difficult, but really helping Colony 6. Okay, so we need these for Colony 6. Fantastic. As you can see here, that door is blocked off. So now I want to go back. Come on, Dunban, be careful. It's really easy to slip off. These! Okay, that was close. That was close. Come on, almost there. Okay, good. One side down, one side to go. And yeah. 
Mon. I think there's stuff up there. Is there even stuff up there? There should be. I'll give it a shot. This one's a bit more difficult. Because you have to jump up instead. Okay. Is this even worth it? It is! Okay, nice. This side, we get more stuff. And we have a path downwards. Now, I think if you blow that stuff up... Okay, I thought there was like a unique monster. Whatever one was up there. I thought it was supposed to appear down there, but okay, whatever. Uh, so I'll meet you back at that ether stream place. Well, now that we're at this stream again, we want to hop down here. Come on, Dunban. There you go. Be very careful not to fall in. Ether Blast Furnace. Nice. Now, as you can see here, we have a lot of enemies. Now, we have two options, or three, really. We can fight them. We can run past them, which is what I'm probably going to do. Though. Or we can fight them. And as I said, Ether will kill you, but it will also kill them. So if you can somehow get them to fall into Ether, easy win. But I'm just going to run past them. Cheese it. Come on. We don't need to fight you guys. We need, don't need to fight you nerds. Come on. Dumb man, use your little legs. There we go. Skill learned. Fantastic. And you guys won't follow me in here, probably. Yeah, run away. Run away, you don't care about me. Much. Come on. I know you don't aggro in here. I know you don't. I've done this like three times. What are you doing? Come on. There we go. Jeez Louise, man. Well anyway, now that we're past these nerds, and we're in this chamber, I think that's a good spot to end this episode. So, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we'll be going down this lift. And doing things there. Yeah. Maybe we'll find Fiora, maybe we won't. I don't know. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.